I'm Kelly Summers, PhD candidate in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Saskatchewan, Canada. My research investigates the role of copper in Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive brain disorder that gradually destroys a person's memory, ability to learn, reason, make judgments, communicate, and carry out daily activities. Alzheimer's disease is the single most common cause of dementia. Alzheimer's kills more people each year than breast and prostate cancer combined. It is the only cause of death in the top 10 in America that cannot be prevented, cured, or slowed. Almost two-thirds of Americans with Alzheimer's disease are women. One in three seniors die of Alzheimer's or another dementia. This amounts to over 35.5 billion people worldwide that have dementia, costing $236 billion U.S. in 2016. In Alzheimer's disease, the brain atrophies, or shrinks. Misfolded proteins aggregate in areas of the brain important for memory and cognition. Specifically, amyloid plaques accumulate outside cells and neurofibrillary tangles appear inside neuronal cells, leading to neuronal loss. Concentrations of zinc, copper, and iron in the brain are significantly different in Alzheimer's disease. Amyloid plaques are rich in these metals while surrounding tissues are deficient. It is thought that age-related changes in metal regulation in the brain allows binding of metals like copper and zinc to amyloid plaques. This metallated amyloid beta then produces reactive oxygen species resulting in oxidative stress, damage to lipids, proteins, and DNA. This neurotoxicity then leads to synaptic and neuronal loss. 8-hydroxyquinolines are a family of drug compounds that are thought to bind and mobilize metals from soluble amyloid beta peptides and plaques restoring metals to surrounding neurons, and upregulating proteases to degrade amyloid plaques. I use a synchrotron technique called X-ray absorption spectroscopy to investigate how metals bind to 8-hydroxyquinoline drugs. I also use another synchrotron technique called X-ray fluorescence imaging to map the location of metals like copper and zinc in biological tissues. I first use cell cultures to map the location of metals inside single cells treated with 8-hydroxyquinoline drugs. Second, I prepared thin tissue sections to map the location of metals inside mammalian brain and other tissues. My recent results suggest that one of the 8-hydroxyquinoline drugs, which has undergone clinical trials for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, may bind copper differently than other drugs in this family. This might allow for interactions with amyloid beta, which could have significant implications for Alzheimer's disease treatment. 